I don't know if it counts as one piece, but certainly you're going to see the, the Chinati Foundation in, in Marfa in Texas, uh, where it's just, it's like a whole world of Donald Judd and um, Dan Flavin and in this incredible you know, you know, town in the middle of nowhere in the middle of Texas. Uh, yeah, with this actual tumbleweed running through the town, and just you know, it's just such a magical place to be. And I, if you haven't been, I really highly recommend it. Um, I mean, I think it's incredible that, that as a, even a subject matter is even being uh, approached by a designer. I mean, personally, I love the aesthetic of aesthetic of <laughs> the aesthetic of prosthetics and you know it's it's really interesting that you know a young designer sort of taken that up as a you know as her kind of her medium. I mean scarily unexpected I mean I think there's plenty of scarily unexpected things I was expecting to happen and I like tortured myself thinking is this girl going to fall over? Is she going to get electrocuted? Is it, you know, is the heel going to break? I mean, you know, is no one going to turn up? <laughs> I mean, in my head there was a lot of unexpected things that happened, but actually in reality we, we managed to get managed to get through it with pretty minor 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 injuries. Let's put it that way. I mean, I'm a Nike Air Max 90 person. Actually, today I have like a special combo of Air Max One with a Nike Air Max 90 base, which is what I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I love the Nikes. I think James Terrell. I don't quite know how that would work, but it would be incredible. Uh, so yeah, I got back what, yesterday from Lagos and I was doing um, a talk to a load of students out there. It was actually it was about five, five to six hundred students, and yeah, I mean it was pretty incredible. I mean, the, I've never seen such yeah interested, hungry for information, you know, passionate people. 